Well, beginning this fall, Anderson County school districts will be offering free meals to all students. The program will be in place for at least four years. The district says that this will take the burden off many families, especially those who need some support. 7 News reporter Chloe Salsameda has more. Anderson District 3 says more than half of the families who live in this district live below the poverty line. Now all students will qualify for free lunch and breakfast for the next four years. Chicken nuggets, a banana and milk filled hundreds of students trays at Flat Rock Elementary. In Anderson District 3's elementary schools, lunch costs $2.25. It's $2.40 in middle and high schools, but beginning next school year, meals will be free. All of our students K through 12 will qualify for um, free lunch and breakfast. This year, the U.S. Department of Agriculture changed its rules, allowing more students to qualify for free lunch. Because a majority of Anderson 3 students qualified, the entire district became eligible for free meals. It's a game changer. We, a lot of our students do qualify and our families qualify for free, free and reduced lunch. Um, but however, there are a lot of students and families that are right there at that cusp of, of making it and so they still have to pay um, even though they're right there at the cutoff line. And so it, for those especially, it's gonna make a huge difference. According to the district, 60 to 70% of its students need the support. We do have a higher poverty index in our area and this program will give our families security and a safety net for our students. The principal of Flat Rock Elementary says the program will help our students grow and succeed. We'll be able to make sure that we're providing nutritious meals twice a day for all of our students and the impact that has, um, it carries over into the classroom, students who are fed well, perform well in class. The district will be reevaluated in four years to determine if they're still eligible to offer free meals. In Anderson County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.